What's up, Yard Freakos, and thanks for joining me on this video. So today is the second part in my buffalo grass series, and today is the day I finally, finally be able to get some grass into my backyard. If you didn't know before, my grass is, is just a complete hellscape. It uh, basically is, um, well, it used to be this. So this used to be where I'm about to put the buffalo grass in. It's just like three and a half inch river rock, and it sucks. Because I would, uh, when you try and walk on this stuff, it doesn't stick, it doesn't uh, pat down. And so then when you try and walk on it, it just slips out underneath you, especially when you have a really steep type of backyard like I do. Now this is nowhere near uh, the Juan Guardians type of steep, but it's steep enough for me and you really can't walk on river rock when you have this stuff. So anyway, my goal here is, meet Glenn, this is my goal here is is to get buffalo grass in here and actually start making somewhat of a backyard lawn and then over the winter i'm going to remove some of this uh mulch here and i'm going to take it basically to the fence maybe give about a two and a half foot uh flower garden off the fence but then rake that the rest of buffalo grass too and that way we can have a proper lawn so let's get started so I just wanted to say, uh, before we begin, you guys are going to notice this in the video, but you see this? I have no idea what it is, but I have a feeling it has something to do with my patio here. Like maybe it's providing a foot or something like that, so I'm not going to be putting grass here. So don't put that in the video, I already know. It's a little frustrating to me because I was really wanting this to be part of my yard as well. But, uh, whatever, what can you say? Okay, before I begin, I just want to shout, throw a shout out to Curtis and Curtis Seed Company. I've known these guys for a very long time. They are from the same part of the country that I am from, and I wanted to throw them some love today. So that's where I got my uh, Sundancer Buffalo Grass Seed up from. I got Sundancer here. They did not uh, give this to me for free. I bought this myself. They did throw in the hat because I told them I was doing YouTube videos and I wanted th uh, to show them some love, you know, to my audience. So not sponsored, but I just want to say, guys, Curtis and Curtis, they will treat you the best. I've been buying from them for years for my lawn stuff. Um, and they basically have anything that you need. Bermuda, Kentucky bluegrass, fescue. And if you guys need corn, cotton, and any of that other stuff, if you're farmers, they will hook you up. But I just wanted to give them some love and go, uh, uh, you know, check them out. I'll have a link in the description below to them and also on my Twitter account. You can go find them there. But yeah, let's get started and start spreading out Buffalo Street. Okay, so uh, the normal recommended application for buffalo grass is three to five pounds per thousand square feet. That bag I just poured out is three pounds. And this is not definitely not uh, 1,000 square feet. I think this may even be less than 500 square feet. But you know what? See it is cheap. Let's get this stuff down and see if we can get it established that much faster. I will say this is starting to get a little late in the year. I'm, a little, I'm afraid this isn't going to take off all the way by, and get established before the first freeze comes in. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, I just, it was too late in the year for me to be able to get this done in time, but we're going to go for it. And if not, let's buy some more seed next year for whatever doesn't come through them and get established again. So let's get started. If y'all have ever wondered what buffalo grass seed looks like, so this is it. But this isn't even the seed. This is buffalo grass uh, burrs. And basically within each of these burrs here, within each of these burrs, there's about two, three, four seeds actually in these birds. So this is just a protective covering that the plant makes for the buffalo grass seed. And it's uh, green because they basically treat it with potassium to give it, it you know, to fertilize it, to help it, um, you know, green up that much faster and to, you know, start taking off. So yeah, let's get started here. what it looks like. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> 